Victoria from RevolutionConditioning.com and HockeyTrainingPro.com. And I wanted to um, share with you an idea that I've just been kind of toying around with. And, and maybe you'll tell me what you think. But so often when we lift, when we squat or split squat or lunge or whatever we're doing, we're lifting the same weight, we're, we're balanced with our weight, we're, and we're lifting the same amount of weight in each hand. But when we're doing sport, you know, if I'm playing hockey, I might be going along minding my own business and somebody might grab me from this side or push me from that side and I really have to respond and react um, with side to side differences. So I just thought a way that we could maybe put a little more load on our torso. Um, not load, just a little more... <clears throat> so a way that we can maybe challenge the torso by putting a little bit more, and I'm sorry I can't think of the word I'm trying to think of, but like a more sophisticated load pattern is by using two different weight dumbbells. So if I have a 30 pound here and a 15 pound here, and then I'm going to do my squat, my body has to kind of interpret that difference in load and make some adjustments based on that. Would I do this for my max lifting? No, but as a supplemental or even as a dynamic warm up, I might do that. Um, and then of course you have to switch hands. So at first I thought it would be neat to do on a barbell, and I actually have done it with rowers um, on their barbell row because it's very easy for them to set it down and just step around to the other side but in the squat rack it's really a pain to flip it around so um, I like using it with dumbbells a little better. So anyway that's just a new idea. I think you can do it you know, nicely with standing presses as well um, and I'll monkey around with it a bit more and then tell you what I find out. This is Maria from HockeyTrainingPro.com and RevolutionConditioning.com.